Hi, we're from Summer for Youth and I'm Ashley. And I'm Soru. And we're going to show you how to use the materials in your bag to make a balloon powered car. This experiment will take a total of 5 minutes. And by the end of this video, you will have your own balloon powered car. Now before we start, make sure you drink your juicy juice because we need an empty bottle for our car. To begin, we're going to make the wheels of the car. So you should have a bottle cap with holes in them and a toothpick. What you're going to do is you're going to put the toothpick through the bottle cap towards the end and put it towards the end of the toothpick like this. And you're going to do that with the other three bottle caps and toothpicks you have. And now you're going to take the juice box, take out the straw, and you're going to attach the wheels onto the juice box. So you're going to get one of your wheels and attach tape to the longer end of the toothpick, and then you're going to tape it to the end of the juice box. So you're going to have two on this end and two on the other end. So we are going to tape the other three. Like so. And once you've attached the wheel on the juice box, feel free to test it out. And now for the engine of the car, you're going to need the straw, balloon, and rubber band. And now you're going to get your straw and balloon and put the balloon through the non bendy part of your straw, like this. And you're going to tightly um, seal the balloon on the straw by tying the rubber band around the balloon, like this. and put it onto the juice box on the side that does not have the wheels and make sure that the bendy part is off the juice box and the balloon is hanging on the side as well. And then you're going to tape it with um, at least two strips of tape to make it secure. And this is your car. And if you notice that this part of the vehicle comes up, then you can attach coins on top to outweigh to this side of the vehicle. Test out your car by blowing into the straw and letting your car move. But, how does this work? When you blow into the balloon, the air pressure of the balloon increases. This allows the rubber of the balloon to stretch and expand. The stored air pressure and the stretch of the rubber is potential energy. When you let go of the balloon, the rubber contracts and the air rapidly escapes the balloon. The potential energy inside of the balloon turns into kinetic or moving energy. This is the kinetic energy that pushes backwards while the car moves forwards, causing an opposite motion to occur. This is the line with Newton's law of motion which states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Feel free to send photos or videos with your balloon powered car to shs.stemmaforyouth at gmail.com to get featured on our Instagram or our website. I hope you enjoyed our balloon powered car experiment. Come again next time for more interactive science activities. Bye! Bye.